If you're tired of having to balance your game sound or your music sound or some other background sound in your live stream um, across your voice and having to figure out which one's going to override the other and not getting your levels right, doing a whole recording and it just doesn't turn out very well at all, this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps to set up audio ducking or sidechain compression in OBS Studio, which allows you to basically tell your alternative audio sources to lower whenever you start talking. And it's actually really cool. It was added in the OBS 21 update. I gave a super rough overview of it in that video, but in this film, I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up right after this. Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. This video, of course, assumes that you have OBS Studio installed and you understand the general basics of how to use it. If you don't, I have a full master class linked in the video description down below where I walk through pretty much everything you need to know about OBS Studio. So we're going to skip past the obvious basics and jump right in here. So I have already added some audio sources. If we go to my audio settings here, I have added my microphone input and then two audio outputs and one of them I will run some music from VLC player here in a moment but you can see my audio levels right now I just have a little bit turned down on all of them for my microphone for my and for my alternative ones so if I go ahead and hit play on the music I am not hearing it because I have it routed through a different input but I have it running here through desktop audio track and if these are running to a live production that loud music is probably making it very impossible to hear what I'm saying. Here, we're going to flip over to it and do a quick test. That sucks. But we can set up with a quick plug-in change. We can set this up to automatically lower for our needs. So go ahead and hit the gear icon next to the track that you want to lower. The one that you wish to automatically reduce whenever you're talking. So not your microphone track, but your game sound, your music, whatever that may be. Go ahead and hit the gear icon and hit filters. Now click the plus right here to add a compressor and click on compressor. We're going to give this a name. We're going to call this ducking. Not for any, it, it, that's what this process is called, is ducking the audio under your source. We're going to hit OK. Now once this window pops up, you're probably going to be pretty confused as to what of all these options are. We're going to actually walk through them and make this a little bit easier to understand. So in your filters menu, you have the ratio, which is basically, you know, a basic math ratio of how much you want to squish or silence your other audio source based on your first one. 10 to 1 is very aggressive. For every, you know, one level of input, it will squish it down 10 times, which isn't ideal. Uh, so we're actually going to set this to a ratio of about 3 or 4 to 1. So I'm going to drag this over. We'll say about 3 to 0.5. We'll see how that turns out. Now, the threshold is something different. The threshold is kind of the ceiling of the audio that you're sidechaining it to. So your original microphone audio source, basically the highest or like the, the, the highest point your microphone can reach before it triggers the compressor. So that means if we have it at minus 18, my voice have to, has to reach all the way up to minus 18 dB before the music will lower. We want to lower this. That way the, mute, the compressor activates sooner. So if we lower this to, say, minus 30, then as soon as my microphone makes any noise up to minus 30, which should be a good range for my voice, you will have to adjust that based on how much background sound you have in your line. Anything at minus 30 or louder will trigger this to happen. The attack speed, the attack speed is basically just how quickly it activates the compressor to lower your music or game sound. You want this as fast as possible, which appears to be 6 milliseconds. I'll see if I can set it to like 2. Okay, it does actually let me set it. So I'm going to set it to 2 milliseconds, so as soon as it can, it's going to activate. Release, on the other hand, is how quickly the audio gets back louder when you stop talking. So if you stop talking and the music starts to increase... The release is how long that takes. I have originally in my older video had it set really, really long. Uh, I'm going to set it to about... We're going to try around 500 milliseconds for... That's how long it takes it to start going back up. That way it doesn't start coming back up just in between words. But it doesn't take forever to climb back up either. This may be not enough. We're going to see here in a minute. And then output gain you just leave at zero. Because that's just applied to everything. And you just want the normal music volume left alone. And you adjust those dials in your actual mixer. 
Lastly is the most important one, the side chain or ducking source. You need to set this to your primary microphone audio or whatever you want to cause it to lower. So this is our music sound. We want it to lower based on our microphone. So I click that and hit close. Now, as I am talking, you can see the music going down as I am talking. And then when I stop talking, it rises back up. That doesn't seem to be quite enough of a threshold, so maybe I'll push it up towards 5 to 1. Now when I'm talking, 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 it gets quite a bit lower. So we're going to go ahead and play a test recording here of me talking with the music going. And I'm honestly probably going to lower it just a tiny bit more. Uh, you can. I, I, I'm doing this live in video because I want to express that this is something that you will want to fine tune based on your audio sources and what works for you. As I'm looking at the audio levels, it really doesn't look like the music is lowered enough. So if I come over here to 50, or to filters, not to 50, I can go, let's say 7.5 to 1. This is a microphone test. That lowers twice, quite a bit more, and I can actually increase my microphone here because I'm not peaking yet. Peak, 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 peak. Yeah, we're good. So now, in theory, this should be fine, and you can tweak as your own. So if you want some easy settings, if you're just in it for the easy settings, here are my recommendations. If you're using super loud, aggressive music like I was using in my test, then here are my recommended settings with a ratio of 10 to 1, threshold minus 30, attack of 2, release of 650. If you are using, you know, more quiet and variant game sound, then I recommend being a little less aggressive with a ratio of 5 to 1. And the rest of the settings are the same. But the, these look to be good settings that you can start with when setting up your auto ducking. This feature is super clutch, super handy for getting your audio balanced and mixed well within OBS Studio, which can be a huge pain when it comes to live streams. In fact, that was one of my biggest turnoffs of live streaming for a long time was getting a balance of your game sound or mic sound or music sound rather or whatever background sound and your microphone sound to feel good enough that they can still hear what's going on, but still hear you primarily. And this can really help you to fix that without having any hard set levels. And of course, while the auto ducking will be running on that track permanently, if you do have multiple audio tracks going, you can further balance within your editing if you're just recording as well. However, this will still lower and increase and lower the volume or the levels rather of that track even in a multi-track audio recording so that's worth keeping in mind hope you found this video helpful if you did hit the like button subscribe for more awesome tech content go check out my obs masterclass if you want to know how to do anything in obs studio i cover everything you need to know in that video or actually it's a playlist of videos it's like five and a half hours worth of videos so go check it out i will have links to my other obs content in the description down below as well and i will see you in the next one.